Hi, I'm Nick, and welcome to another How to Radio. Uh, this week, I'm talking about four different programs that you can use to go live on Facebook or YouTube or Twitch, wherever it is that you go live, and their pros and cons. So the number one question I get asked is, what software do I use to go live? And it varies from month to month. I've used just a bunch of different softwares, and they keep getting better every time I upgrade to the next level. Once you get to a point where you're like, oh, well, I want this to happen, then you find your next one. So I'm gonna walk you through the four uh, that I've used most recently to give you an idea, and then you can decide which one that you wanna use uh, for your live stream. So the software that I'm currently using on my live videos is Ecamm. Uh, I came across this on accident somehow. I'd never heard of it before and I tried it out and I really, really like the quality that it puts out and I like all the options that it comes with. Some of the great things about Ecamm is it does have a really high quality output onto Facebook. Facebook streams in HD, but sometimes you can't get your software to stream in HD. So this one goes all the way up to 4K. So if you have the cameras and the capability to do that, you can do that. It also has pop-up comments, which I really enjoyed. It was something that I really uh, sought after once I upgraded from the last software I used. It's also easy to use. I wouldn't say it's super easy, but it's definitely user-friendly once you kind of figure everything out. There are a couple tutorials, not as many as I would like on uh, YouTube, but this one works for me. It auto records every show that I do. I don't have to remember to also record the live stream. So that's nice when you go, oh man, I hope I got that on video and you check your folder and it's there waiting for you. So that's always nice. It also integrates really well with Skype and Skype somehow has the best quality for video streaming. I've tried Zoom, it just doesn't have it. I probably have to play with the settings, but I found the most success off Skype. So I start Skype and automatically it gets put into Ecamm. So I can stream live um, from home if I wanted to or have a guest come in and it's crystal clear. Some of the downsides of Ecamm though is you can't adjust the photos the way you want. So you get this screen and then you put the photo up and then you can only go as far as the screen will let you, which I find like infuriating because you can't really customize unless you custom build it for Ecamm and that's kind of frustrating. Also, not free. Uh, it starts at $15 a month for the standard, which I was using for a while and then I eventually just upgraded recently to Pro because it has a couple more options that I, I wanna explore. And the Pro is $25 a month. So yeah, it's gonna add on to all your other monthly charges, but if you want your stream to look good, then you have to, you're have you gonna have to pay for it. And the biggest con I would say for Ecamm is that it is Mac only. They haven't released anything for Windows. I don't think they're actually planning on doing it. This is a very Mac exclusive software. Luckily, I have a Mac and all the other softwares don't work as well with Mac as this one does, so it worked out for me. The next software I want to tell you about is BeLive. So this one is super user friendly. It has minimal adjustments. You can't really customize it as much as you would want to, but it's good enough like for a live stream. It gives you all the options like the pop-up comments. This is where I originally got the idea that I wanted those to happen. Plus you can put your logo in the corner if you need to and you get like custom backgrounds and designs for the side so it looks fancier than just going live on Facebook. This one is a little more expensive, surprisingly, than Ecamm. The standard for this is $29 a month. They haven't even released the Pro version yet. They've recently released the price and that is $49 a month. I don't see that value in this price, especially when Ecamm's available. Another thing that you can do on, on BeLive that I haven't seen on the other softwares is you have shop links. So this is perfect for those people that are streaming and are also selling something. So maybe if you're doing like a charity or if you're doing uh, station gear that you're selling for charity, I don't know. If you're doing something that involves selling products, that program is probably the best because that has like a built-in shopping network. So that may be why it's more expensive because other than that, uh, the options are pretty limited. Next up is the one everybody starts with but is the hardest to use, OBS, Open Broadcast Software. This is the free one. This is where I started. This is where a lot of my video friends started. We all just wanted to get used to using it. And this is by far the most complicated of all the programs. It has a steep learning curve. This is kind of what those programs are based on. It has scenes, it has things you can add. The best part about it is you can customize it pretty much however you want. You can do as much or as little to your live stream as you want with this. Plus it does put out HD as well. And did I mention that it was like 
totally free. Another thing that this program is really good with is Streamlabs. And Streamlabs kind of has all the widgets for all the other programs. And so widgets are things like alerts and notifications when someone does something in your group. And that all comes from Streamlabs and it's built by the people that built OBS. So those two integrate obviously really well. Streamlabs, by the way, also free. The cons of this one is it doesn't have, or I couldn't find it anywhere, pop-up comments, which I really wanted in my software because it just looks really good. It helps, uh, I think, the people that are watching feel really special when their comment comes up and everybody can see, like, that's the comment you're highlighting and it has their little picture next to it. I really wanted that feature. So this doesn't have that and I don't think there's a widget for it yet, but you can put all the comments on the screen, which terrifies me as a radio talent, but uh, for Twitch, it's perfect. If you wanna put all the comments up there, that's one of the options. It can also be glitchy, it's free, and you kinda have to deal with some of the glitches sometimes. But this is a great place to start if you've never done any streaming. Make sure you watch a bunch of videos on how to use it because this is the basis you're gonna need for all the other softwares. Like, it made Ecamm really easy because, oh, I understand scenes and I understand adding audio, audio adding video because of OBS. So. Start here, play with it since it's free, and then move on to a software that you think uh, fits you better. The final one I'm gonna talk about is the Cadillac of live streaming uh, software. It's called vMix, and all the people that I look up to that are doing video really, really well, that I go, man, how does your video look so good? How do you have all these features? They all use vMix, and it has built-in overlays, transitions, and options that you can put in. You don't have to custom build anything. So for all the other softwares, I've had to build my own things on uh, Premiere and on Photoshop and all the other softwares, and then put them in Ecamm. vMix has a lot of that built-in that you can choose from, so it's very little work if you don't want to learn 20 programs to one run to one to run one to run one program. I got it up. It has the highest quality video output that I've seen. It has both Mac and PC integrations and it's 100% customizable as well. This, like I said, is the Cadillac. You can do whatever you want to this. The problem is that comes with a Cadillac price tag. I'm not really sure I understand how this works, but I'll have to ask one of my friends. Uh, it's a one-time fee per year and that fee ranges from $60 to $1,200, depending on how much you want uh, to customize your live stream. So this is definitely for the advanced level. I'll probably end up getting vMix at some point once I start integrating like nine cameras and I have like guests from all over the world, but for now, I'm good with where I'm at. But if you wanna look as good as David Mahoney uh, out in Las Vegas or as uh, Sean Tempesta, they all use vMix and they have just amazing features that they're doing. And I think that's gonna be the, that's where you, that's the goal. That's where you wanna get to, but you wanna start at OBS and work your way up. Well, hopefully this video kind of points you in the right direction of which software you need for your live stream videos. I know we're all trying to get better and do better video. And if you want your videos to look good, now the software is part of it, but you're gonna need some hardware as well, which are like cameras and lights and things like that. But it's not as scary or in as expensive as you think it is. Check out Sean Tempesta's video right here. He explains what you need to have good videos. Uh, this is the software that you would use and you would integrate into his advice. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in below. Give me a like and a follow and a subscribe or whatever, like all the things that YouTube to say you saw this video and it wasn't sucky. Uh, do that for me. It helps with uh, the algorithm and it helps me get aware and get out to more people. So I appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions or you want to see anything in future videos, drop that in the comments below.